Hello everybody, and welcome to your third diahero.net Blender tutorial. I'm Rob, and today in Blender we're gonna learn about text. Now why are we learning about text? It's I know it's boring, but it's one thing that will probably be one of the more useful things in Blender if if you're actually doing this for like a product or you're doing this for some type of commercial reason for a job or something like that because text it, it, it is so important in advertising or in anything product related because if people don't see your name out there then they're not gonna know how to reach your product but moving on this is my website name but let's not learn my website name, let's type something you want to type in. So, right now, I want you guys to be in default mode or compositing mode. Okay? And I want you to go to object mode down here. Um, as you can see, there's many different modes here, but we're not going to get into them right now. Let's go into object mode and then click add and then add text right here. It's really easy. All right. Now, let's bring this up. Let's look at it. And I know you guys probably don't have a product or anything that's named text, so I think we're going to delete this. And type in something fun like Hello Kitty. That's a little too fun. But just keep it, okay? And as you can see, it's just simple as that. You just go into edit mode, type what you want, go back to object mode, and you have text. But the problem with this is, when you just type out words, is that, see, you can't really manipulate it. If you remember in last lesson, we learned how to rotate, so let's just try rotate, X, and that's just, you just press R and then X. See, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool, but that's not what we want to do, is it? We want to do the best. So, let's press tab. Let's delete all this, and let's, let's type in something else fun, hopefully something more masculine, like, hmm, oops, actually forget it, let's just type something really simple. Alright, now add another object text. Type E. Oh, and what I'm doing right now to copy and paste these letters, it's not control C like you would think it is. In Blender, you just hold shift and press D. So hold shift, press D to do each one of these. But this is the word we're going to do. I don't know. It's simple. It's bare. I don't know why I put that. But that's what I'm putting. Okay. Now, remember in Blender, everything is seen through the camera, so make sure it looks good from the camera's perspective. And remember to set the camera as the main camera, as the one that's going to render, and remember render, all that means is just going to print the screen. So, let's just set it, hold control, press zero on your keypad, that's the numbers to the farthest right of your keyboard, and um, press zero. There we go. All right, and let's change these. Let's let's do something that we've learned, which is uh, which is rotate. Let's rotate this X. Press R X, R X, R X, and you know just have these any way you want. You don't have to do it exactly like this, but okay. Now, I know you're saying this, this is exciting. Well, why are you so presum presumptuous? Sorry, guys, it's been a long day. But, moving on. Let's go to 50. 50 frames. Because remember, we don't want it to be too long just now. I mean, we're just trying to do basic stuff right now. We'll worry about full animations and stuff later. But let's do it to 50, and 
Remember when we learned in last lesson the keyframes? And that's just basically, that's just like telling the computer where exactly you want the letters at any given amount of time. So we're at one right now, 50. Hold I, location, rotation, scale. Hold I, location, rotation, scale. Press I, location, ro rotation, scale. Press I, location, rotation, scale. Okay. Now, if you want to do something cool, like make the letters come all the way back to uh, where they began, go to the end right here. Just press this. And if this is not up on yours, this is just the timeline. That's all it is with the little clock timeline. Okay, so we're now at 50. Now just do the same thing you did again. Location, rotation, scale, I, location, rotation, scale, I, location, rotation, scale. Now, let's go into the middle, since we're just going to do something simple and something that's as quick as possible for all of us. So now we're at 25. Okay, now manipulate it any way you want. I'm pressing R and Y for this one. I'm pressing R, Z for this one, and I'm going to shrink it down. And now I'm going to press A. Oops. I'm going to press A. I'm just going to rotate it in some weird axis. Press R and do the same thing. Just manipulate it any way you want. Okay. Now, you're thinking, okay. What does this look like? Well, I can't remember if we did this already, but just do the same thing you've been doing. All right, now, let's play it. Okay. See how that works now? Now, if, if you want to get crazy and you don't want to keep pressing I, location, rotation, scale, what you want to do is you want to press the record button right here, and that's on the timeline. Press it. All right, now let's just play it and just change things around when you want to do it. See, and sometimes you're going to want to do this and sometimes you're just going to want to do location rotation scale to get things exactly the way you want. But if you move them around too much, then they just get like really like schizophrenic see they're crazy I just <laughs> all right I'm getting way off task but this is always fun all right you guys this was your third blender tutorial on text don't forget to go to diehero.net which you can't see right now but I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. And don't forget to turn into my other tutorials and the many tutorials coming up. I promise myself I'm laying out 30 videos by the end of June. So there's going to be a lot more coming up this week. I'm going to really have to work hard on this because I've been slacking off a little. But you will see on the 30th there will be 30 tutorials for you guys to savor. So thanks for coming or watching rather and don't forget to subscribe and leave comments you guys really I mean I love helping people who you know need help on this stuff or you know just interacting this stuff I think it's important but I'd like to thank you and until next time you guys